Привет всем, то правда пожаловат обратно в Fujit Split, or roughly translated, hello everybody and welcome back to Fujit Split. Now this is a subscriber requested video. It was requested by uh, Lustim Itchim, uh, who posted on my Chi Nu review yesterday. Can I do a KV3 review? So this is it. This is the KV3, the Russian Tier 7 Heavy, and it's a really underestimated gem. So this is what the tank looks like in Blitz Stars. It's pretty squat. It's got effectively that enhanced KV-1 hull and a different turret. When I stick it into the armor inspector, as you can see, armor-wise the turret is pretty thick, but the hull not so. Although there's a few spots where it is pretty thick. If I put it against a Tiger P, which it will face, as you can see, it's not a bad side scraper. Uh, the panels at the front lower plate and the top are a bit penny, but the rest is okay. Damage-wise, well, this thing will knock out 280 XP on the Tier 7 small gun and 400 on the big derpy one. We'll get to that more later. Hit points, it's got 1,450. As you can see there, the armor at the front, pretty thick. Sides, not too bad. Rear, not too bad, especially on the turret. View range, just over 250 meters. And the camo pro values are way below average. DPM, well, if you've got the tier seven gun, it's gonna be over 2000 with 180 pen on your AP and dishing out 280 damage on your AP. It has depression of seven degrees, a speed going forwards of 32 and going backwards of 12. So let's have a look at these guns in more detail. So this is the 100 millimeter D10T. As you can see, the aim time is 5.2 seconds. The DPM is 2035 and the reload time is 8.25 seconds. Your damage output on this is, well, on your AP, you're gonna get 280, and on your APCI, you're gonna get 240, and the HE 350. Penetration values, however, are AP 184 and APCR 247. Now, let's switch it to the tier seven derpier gun. And as you can see there, your reload time goes up to just shy of 16 seconds. Your DPM drops down to 1,539. Your APCR penetration drops to 228, but your armor piercing damage goes up to 400, your APCR 340, and your HE shoots up to 500. Not shabby. This is the tier seven gun. So as you can see there, you know, you get a bit more. This is the 122 millimeter D25T. So realistically, it's less DPM and you get similar or lower penetration. Now let's switch it up to the tier eight. Well, this one, now your DPM goes down to, to goes down to 1744. The reload time is 13 and a, almost 14 seconds. You've still got the same pen in your AP, your APCR still drops to 228, HE goes up, and you're still gonna have 400 on your AP, 340 on your APCR, and 500 on your HE, damage-wise. Anyhow, this is me rolling out earlier with the tier eight derpy gun on canal. Now, you know, I'm a bottom tier tank here, but I've got a derpy gun couple of things you need to know about the derpy gun yes okay you're gonna churn out a lot of damage but you're not gonna do it quickly that's the point don't forget the pen on this tier 8 derp gun is no different on its standard AP to the pen on the tier 7 not so derpy gun the tier 7 not so derpy gun therefore whilst it does lower damage it has an higher DPM and the penetration values are effectively the same apart from on the APCR. It's lower on this derpy gun. That's not to say the derpy gun isn't fun. It is. But don't be fooled by the fact that there's a tier 8 derpy gun with this tank and therefore it's the best gun. Load it. Because I don't think it is. I personally think the not so derpy tier 7 gun 
is the best gun for this tank. And you will see the difference with the two because the next one of the games I will play the lower tier gun and you'll see how much more effective um, it actually is. So, so far I've done what, 1116 damage in this thing, I've killed a tank and I've, I've been pretty okay. But look at the aim time on this thing. Now I've got to wait almost 14 seconds for the damn thing to reload. Okay, so I'm going to knock out about 300 and something damage, but that's not the point. I've got to wait quite a long time to knock out that damage. And I didn't knock out 300 there because the RU only had 200 left. And these two, the IS-5 and the Charioteer, are both, you know, they're both on very low hit points, 16 and 15 respectively. So what's the point of me having a big derpy gun? And this happens. Boom! Oh my god, it doesn't pen. Now we've got to wait almost 14 seconds for the bloody thing to reload. Just because I want to knock out 16 HP from this tank. If I would have had the not so derpy gun, he would have gone. So don't be fooled into playing the derp gun on this, guys. It's nice to have that tier 8 in there. It's nice dishing out a lot of damage with one shot. So far I've done 1,356. That's not much. Now I'm going to be rushed. I'm going to be rushed by, I think it's T25, I believe. I can't remember. And he is going to give me a hard time, mainly because he has got a better reload than me. He doesn't dish out as much damage as me. He's dishing out 140, 150. But because his reload is so much better than mine, he is going to give me a hard time. And look at this. He's already taken two thirds of my hit points. I've taken almost all of his hit points now. I've left him on 26. Now I've got to wait the long time. And look at this, somebody's capping the base. My ISU is not moving, unfortunately. He should have moved a long time ago. It's a token kill. 2,376 damage. We lose the game. And we lose the game because of my inability to get rid of that T25 quickly. We get a second class. I, I, I'm happy with that. But we still lost the game. So this is me rolling out in the same tank this time with the tier 7 not so derpy gun this is the lower of the two it has a 8.3 second reload carries the same penetration and dishes out a lot less damage however it's still dishing out nice damage as you will see the tank itself mobility wise it's heavy so it's slow heavies are slow this is a slow tank good thing about it is it does have relatively decentish armor it's got that russian trolley armor you angle it the right way people are going to struggle to pen you uh, this vk unfortunately is, is going to struggle to pen me anyway because he just doesn't have the penetration to to combat me unfortunately for him i'm just going to push him down here and already i've done 730 damage and you know i'm, I'm much happier because had i kept the tier 8 derp gun in that would have been a completely different brawl. Same here with the J Panther. With the tier 8, okay, I would have knocked out another 100 odd damage, but what's the point? Because I'm going to knock out a lot more damage in. Uh, basically, I've got two shots for one. So, with the not so derpy tier 7 gun, I can churn out close to 700 damage for the 400 damage in the time that it takes for the one derpy gun to load because that takes like 14 seconds this is taking eight and a half realistically guys seriously trust me on this forget the derpy guns both of them the tier 7 and the tier 8 they're great for grinding they're no good on this tank you need this tier 7 not so derpy gun it's much much better for you so here we go i mean i've done 1346 now i've not killed anything <laughs> unfortunately now the tiger p i'm not focused on him i'm focused more on the su 100 y because he's got a bigger gun than the tiger p the tiger p doesn't give me too many problems oh but he, he you know he hurts me there he tracks me i repair the tracks stupidly because they didn't need repairing and that happens he sets my engine on fire and now i've got no repair kit He's, he basically got a load of free damage there because I was too quick to repair my tracks, which I didn't need to do. We've now done 2,173 damage, 2,472 damage, didn't take any kills. 
but it was a nice game and it goes to show how good the tank can be with this lower class gun and I get another second class this is the last game and I played this one early this morning and again I've got that tier 7 not so derpy gun in and I love that gun so I said I'm going to the B cap here comes an SU 100Y I'm going to plow one into him 271 damage look at my reload it's now 8 seconds rather than almost 16 seconds gives me enough time to get around the corner and put another one into him 311 so therefore we've already done what 600 damage in the time it would do take to do 400 damage with the big derpy tier 8 gun I've now been able to move up towards the base. I'm looking around me. I've got KB3 there. I've got a KB2. Maybe we can get around the corner and smack the KB2. Yes, we can. Boom. There we go. 314. So, so far we've done shy of 900 damage and we're having some good fun. Here comes the T29. What can we do with him? Well, I can do 280 into him. Blangle. Yep. I can block the 310. 1177 so far. Smack him in the lower plate again. There goes 2,000. Another 244. We're just shy of 1,500 now. We've only blocked that 310. Oh, over poked. All oh, issues coming around the back. Oh, somebody kills him. I've done 1,600 damage. There's a KV3 making a break for it. I'm too quick in the shot there, and it bounces off his turret. I'm mindful of the tanks down the other side, so I don't want to overstretch here. I'm trying to get into his engine. There we go. 279 into that 1900 he's got the derp gun unfortunately for him so I bounce 400 then I wildly miss a snapshot because that was just daft of me still only on 1900 damage can I smack anything else into him yes I can another 268 I bounce 710 he's still got that he's got that derp gun remember that tier 8 derpy gun he's now going to smack me again Boom, another block of 400. I set him on fire. I'm now at 2,500 damage. I've blocked 1,110. He's now gone. I've capped the base. So now I can concentrate on the M10 and the T29. So I'm going to pop around the corner and smack the T29. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating he's going to hit me. No, he's not. But the M10 does. I smack the T29. He's now a one shot. Oh, I bounce him again. I've now bounced 1,400. Smack him again. Boom, there he goes. My first kill. I've done 3,156 damage. Here's the M10. Smack the M10. Well, 3,430. Bounce 1,805. Now the T25. Smack him again. There we go. We're up to, what, 3,600 damage. Can I kill him before the timer? No, I can't. I just track him anyway. So, we did 3,688 damage, we get a well-deserved mastery and a steel wall and a shed load of credits. That is how you play the KV-3, guys. Stick that lower tier 7 not-so-derpy gun in, you will have much more fun with this tank, I can assure you. That has been the KV-3. I have been Fujit. I hope that was enjoyable. By all means, comment, like and all the stuff below. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. Um, puts a smile on my face. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can put them up even quicker. And with that, I'll say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because, you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.